In this complex and deeply concerning case, several key individuals play significant roles, each with potential conflicts of interest that may have compromised the integrity of the legal process. We start with Chastity Boykin, the biological mother of Chayden Boykin. Chastity's connections to important figures like Camilla Edwards, a DCFS supervisor, and Maurice Taggart, an attorney, raise questions about whether these ties influence the custody and adoption proceedings. Next is Camilla Edwards, the DCFS supervisor, who is allegedly related to both Chastity Boykin and Travis Simmons. This relationship poses a serious conflict of interest, especially given Camilla's role in overseeing the case. Maurice Taggart, the attorney appointed to represent Travis Simmons, is also allegedly connected to Chastity Boykin and Camilla Edwards. His involvement brings up concerns about legal malpractice and possible collusion, especially if his actions favored his relatives. Another key figure is Judge Ernest Brown, who presided over the case. If it's true that Judge Brown is related to Chastity Boykin, his failure to recuse himself calls into question the fairness of his rulings. Travis Simmons, named as the punitive father in the case, is another central figure. If it's confirmed that Travis was unaware of his involvement, it suggests that his identity might have been misused, pointing to possible fraud by others involved. Finally, we have Clarissa Jones, the caseworker who allegedly tried to facilitate the transfer of Chayden Boykin to Travis Simmons. Her actions could indicate a breach of duty, contributing to the manipulation of the legal process. These connections and potential conflicts among key players suggest a deeply flawed system where personal relationships may have overshadowed justice.